Chapter 1 is the first steps with spreadsheets. Introduction to the interface of the program. Before you can start learning to use Excel, you need to take a look at the user interface. This tutorial identifies the main part of Excel spread work area. This is the interface of Excel. From the top, we can find the title bar, then tabs bar, the ribbon, formula bar, sheet area, row bar, column bar, sheet tab, finally status bar. Now I am going to explain in details everything you need to know about each one of these parts. Number one, the title bar. It is located at the top and from its name it indicates the name of the file and the information about the program name and the program version. Here is an example. This file's name is multiplication table opened in Microsoft Excel. Another example, if we look at the title bar, we can note that the file's name is traffic jam, but this file is opened in Microsoft PowerPoint. Coming back to Excel to open another workbook, this file's name is statistics. Between brackets, we can find compatibility mode. That means this file was created and saved in an earlier version. And now we are opening the file in 2010. So the file will be in compatibility mode. That means the new features of 2010 is inactive and to make it active we can convert the file to the new one he asked me the action will convert the workbook to a current format which is 2010 which allow you to use all the new features of excel okay so compatibility mode is disappeared so don't forget that if the file was created and saved in earlier version like 1997-2003 and you opened it in Excel 2010 the file will be opened in the compatibility mode but Excel 2007 workbooks doesn't open in compatibility mode because excel 2007 uses the same xml based file format which is .xls the title bar is divided into three parts part one it is located at the left corner it is the quick access toolbar it is a very useful feature it enables you to reach commands that you frequently use. It contains by default icons for new, save, undo and redo. But you can add and remove commands to it. If you want to add commands to the quick access toolbar, click the down arrow. and check the icon you want like new yes it is added to add another one open again print preview and the print remember that you add icons that you frequently use and want to save time taking to reach them so you put them in a near place and a more reachable one. 
if you want to remove icons okay let's uncheck them and the print preview if you want to add and remove more commands that you can see in the list so you can click on the more commands below here is the command in excel all the commands you can search for a command by any category like popular here is all the commands in the excel and you can search the commands by any categories like popular all commands icons in the file tab icons in the the home tab icons in the formula tab and so on search for the icon by any of these categories let's search for the matrix i don't know where it is so i will explore all commands and i will type the first letter which is m and navigate to the matrix click add it will be added to the right list which is icons in the quick access toolbar clicking ok will add the matrix icon to the quick access toolbar and if you want to remove it also you will open the more commands clicking the matrix but this time click remove it will be removed part 2 as we said before it is the location where the name of the book is written by default excel will name new workbook with book 1 book 2 until you save it part 3 contains buttons for minimize maximize close buttons to minimize excel click the minimize button so the file goes down into the taskbar you can retrieve it again by clicking it from the taskbar the second button is restore it looks like two overlapping squares if i click it the size of the window is reduced so you can see more than one application at the same time notice that the second button now it looks like one square not too overlapping and the screen tip is saying this button is maximize button its name is changed from restore to maximize click the maximize button excel will be full screen third button is to close the application and before closing excel must ask you if you want to save the file before closing and also you can cancel closing here is some tips about title bar as we said maximize button is replaced with restore button if window is already maximized double click on the title bar will restore the window okay let's try it double click the title bar will restore the window double click it again will maximize it the same as we click the second button here and we click again it click on application icon open shortcut menu that have restore minimize and close also okay let's see 
Where is the application icon? It is at the far left of the title bar. If you click it, a shortcut menu is opened where you can restore, minimize, maximize, and close the window. So you have these buttons at the far left side of the title bar and also at the right side too. Drag the title bar to any edge of any of the screens to make a window in that portion of the screen. Okay, let's see. When the window is restored, you can drag it from its title bar to move it. If you touch any of the screens, the window will attach to it. The final tip about title bar is you can show the quick access toolbar below or above the ribbon. If you want to show the quick access toolbar below the ribbon, you can click the down arrow and click show below the ribbon. It will help if you add extra more icons to the quick access toolbar. So you have all the widths of the program to add many icons at this area. And if you want to bring it back to above the ribbon, you can click the down arrow and click show above the ribbon.